something's moving. Tonight, on Scariest Places on Earth, some say it's not true. But they were murdered and their souls were eaten. Some say it never happened. Metal spikes were driven into people's skulls. One family will learn for themselves that Transylvania is real. Transylvania is quite haunted. That Dracula is not just a story. He succeeded in having 100,000 people impaled. And that it all took place at this castle. <laughs> now, this family attempts to survive a night of terror in Dracula's castle. This is a place of supreme evil. scary. Sometimes it's all in a name. Transylvania is a name that conjures up images of the undead, werewolves, and terrible violence and vengeful spirits. It's a name that has produced countless nightmares over the past century, ever since Bram Stoker wrote his classic novel Dracula and set much of it in Transylvania. But Transylvania is not a fictional location. It's real. And in the heart of it all stands a castle with a terrifying history. It's called Hunadora. And this castle is waiting for a group of visitors. A family from America. Transylvania. Hunadora Castle. 5.02 a.m. I cannot find a way to get out of here! I don't know where I am! I need somebody to come and get me, though! I cannot handle this! Connie's coming to get you. Ah! Hey, Connie! Hey, Connie! She's scared. She'll be like, let's get out of here now! <laughs> That's what you'll do. But then when you're there alone, and then you find out you really aren't alone, but it's not one of us. <laughs> I've been referred to at different times as a skeptic, but I believe anything is possible. I don't believe in the supernatural or the paranormal. I think too logically, and I always think that there's a reason behind everything. I, what I hope to find is paranormal activity. I'd love to see that. You guys okay? No. I think we're going to definitely see something, and it's going to be cool because they're going to think differently than they did their whole lives. That's what I think. I think when I see it myself, I'm sure I'm going to believe in it a lot. <laughs> There's something here. Deep in the heart of Transylvania stands an imposing castle with centuries of brutal history. Hunadora Castle. This castle belonged to John Hunyadi, probably this entire area's greatest ever hero. He was a warrior of strength, power, and initiative. But you can't have those things unless you also have brutality. Here at Hunedora Castle, thousands of people were brutally tortured, then executed. Brutal violence was a part of life here. Strong survived, weak were conquered and used and abused and murdered. Unadora Castle was the most powerful fortress in Transylvania. It's massive. It's 13 stories tall. It takes half a mile walk to get around it. Um, impenetrable stones. It's an intimidating castle to come upon. The most powerful rulers in Transylvania lived at Hunedora Castle. 
high-ranking soldiers were imprisoned here. They were often tortured in the castle's detention tower. Even though the walls were thick, screams of the imprisoned could be heard through the countryside. Real evil exists in this place. It's in every room. It's in every brick of Hunedora Castle. You don't walk out of this place. You turn and run if you have any sense. Punishments were inflicted on prisoners in the interior yard of the castle. They were chained and beaten. They were hanged, beheaded, and sometimes even impaled. The impalement, it's a terrible way to go. You take a steak which is oiled at the end and rounded, not pointed. You insert it into the victim. Once it's lodged, the sheer body weight causes the victim to sink slowly down and die. The most notorious impaler learned his brutal craft at Hunadora Castle. Some called him Vlad the Impaler. Others called him Dracula. The myth of Count Dracula originally comes from Vlad the Impaler, a 15th century psychopath. Dracula from Transylvania and Romania was a historical figure of a serious nature. He was born in the year 1431 in Sigishwara, Transylvania. He was destined to become a ruler, a prince. During his reign, he succeeded in having 100,000 people impaled. Now, he only ruled for six years. Nobody impaled people on the scale of the historical Dracula. Nobody. On one occasion, he impaled Turkish prisoners after a battle. When the Turkish army got there, they were horrified to see a forest of stakes with bodies hanging on top. Some 20,000 victims. He'd been up there for weeks and some for months. Dracula learned impaling from a man he should have despised. There is an old saying that politics makes strange bedfellows. John Hunyadi was responsible for the death of Dracula's father and his brother. The nobles captured the eldest son. They forced him to say his own funeral ritual and dig his own grave. Then they put him inside the coffin, nailed it up, and he suffocated to death. However, in order to secure the throne, he's got to have the support of John Hunyadi. Vlad made the best of a bad situation, went to Hunyadi, and was trained as a knight. This is where he learned that he really enjoyed blood. Some people get a thrill out of spurting blood. When he dined amid his impaled victims, which is peculiar enough, he would take bread and then he'd dip it in the blood of the victims and slurp it down. High protein diet. Some say Dracula gained his evil power from a mysterious medallion. The Impaler was given the Order of the Dragon by his father, who was high up in that Christian order. It was the very select order. Only 126 nobles were ever admitted into that order. The medallion was his claim that he had permission to kill, to slaughter, to uh, impale. And Vlad would turn the amulet over and place the mark of Satan. He wanted the power of the devil. Dracula's evil power has left a dark shadow over Transylvania. American legends have Transylvania as being 
one of the most frightening countries. It's always dark and there's a full moon and weird things are happening. And that does occur. It is quite haunted. You could find hundreds of stories which are very strange. And some of them, they're unexplainable. In 1957, my husband accidentally killed a man. The man came back as a wolf seeking revenge. The wolf came to our village and attacked six members of my family, only my family, all in different places at different times. When the wolf attacked me, I killed it with his knife. It wasn't a normal animal. It was a kind of creature with supernatural forces. In Transylvania, these mysterious creatures are called Strigoi. The Strigoi is a spirit that comes from a troubled soul who's passed away and can take form of different things. And so a werewolf is a Strigoi that takes the shape of a wolf. And people here are terrified of Strigoi because they know that if they have not cared for their relative who's died in the right manner, the Strigoi will be visiting them. Some say precautions must be taken so the dead won't return and attack the living. I prepare bodies for burial to make sure they don't return as Strigoi. If they do come back as Strigoi, you can put them to rest by taking a heated nail or a stake and plunging it through the heart. It makes a specific sound like burning meat. The villagers decided my grandfather was one of the undead, so they dug him up and pulled him out of his grave with meat hooks. Villagers go to great lengths to keep a strigoi from coming back. Men will go to the cemetery at night, dig up the body and drive a stake through its heart. It has to go through the body into the ground underneath the corpse. Very important. Because it's a walking corpse, you have to pin it to the earth. Those who lived evil lives will always come back as a strigoi. Those who answer to the devil in life will become a strigoi in death. Because of Dracula's evil deeds, some believe he was destined to become a strigoi. When Vlad the Impaler, known today as Dracula, died, monks brought his body to the island monastery of Snagov and buried him uh, under the main altar. When they opened up Dracula's tomb, the casket and body were missing. What they found inside the animal bones. Spirits, strugoi, vampires, go to places they have fond memories of. Hunedora Castle is where he had his fondest memories. It's here. It's all around here. It's in every room. The place infested with the strigoi of Vlad the Impaler. Some say Dracula's dark energy is still felt throughout Hunedora Castle. It's obvious that there is an evil force that is very old here. This is a dangerous place. No one should enter here. It is filled with evil. The Menegal family will be introduced to the dark world of Dracula. Start with my daughter, Constance. The catalyst behind the start of the whole thing. I'm a mother, I have a three-year-old, and I love um, scary stuff, and I talked everyone into it. We don't even know where we're going exactly. <laughs> Uh, Chris was definitely the hardest person to convince to do this. My name is Kristen. I'm 30 years old. I'm a homemaker. I have two kids. I keep on trying to put into my mind that I can do this. I can do this. I'm going to be okay. And the thought of it really does kind of freak me out. Somebody tell me to get out of here! Okay, let's go to the dungeon. I don't want to go down to the dungeon. Okay, let's just take a couple minutes and relax. You guys, I don't think a couple minutes is going to have her relax. I can't do this. These people are not armed for this. They're not prepared for this. They're not ready for this. This is an evil place. Exorcists and 
psychics are often called to the site of a dangerous haunting to perform cleansing rituals. The rituals are designed to force evil energy from a disturbed location. The negative energy inside Hunadora Castle is so significant, experts believe that they don't know how to destroy it or even do battle with it. There has been an attempt to renovate Hunadora Castle. The entire workforce started and they all left. The whole force disappeared and didn't come back. They kept finding blood on the walls that wouldn't go away. Many believe it is the blood of thousands of helpless torture victims. Many of the souls of the innocent victims don't have anywhere else to go. Their restless spirit still wanders. It's an immense insult for people to come to a place like this and poke about. What right do they have to disturb the spirits of the innocent who died here? I want to see a ghost. <laughs> I've never seen one before, and I thought this would be a good way to find out if there was really ghosts or not. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to, to get to go and actually investigate something like this. Might be a church, might be a some <laughs> prison, uh, maybe, prison. I don't know. Someplace evil. <laughs> Unfortunately, it took thousands of dead people and quite a few gruesome psychopaths to create the evil in that castle. There has been attempts to cleanse, to exorcise the evil spirits. The few that have been in there and tried uh, were just too small of an army. The castle is full of negative forces. There is something hiding here. Something evil. Amen. In 1565, two children were murdered in their beds. I knelt down to pray for my own salvation because I felt like I was suffocating. An intense cough came over me. My lungs felt like I was in a chamber filled with toxic gases and no oxygen. My first impulse was to save myself, to kneel and pray. There wasn't just one, but many spirits, ghosts, vampires, Satan. They were in every corner of the castle. There's something very bad here. I think in any place where thousands upon thousands of people are viciously murdered will leave an imprint. In this castle, there is a great sense of violence. In 1441, 12 Turkish prisoners were forced to dig a well with their bare hands. When Yadi captured a number of Turkish soldiers and he said to the Turks, look, I need a well. If you build that well for me, I'll set you free. And after dozens of years, the well was finally dug. But this was after Hunyadi had died. And his son says, look you, you've made a deal with my father. You didn't make a deal with me. And he cut all of their heads off. And written on the very bottom, one Turk has scribed, you may have water, but you have no souls. They used to sacrifice uh, young children in the base of castles. The castle would be strong. And this apparently was done at uh, Hunadora Castle. There were children in the castle, but they were murdered and their souls were eaten. In 1656, a young bride was murdered by her husband. A woman was having an affair with one of the young lieutenants and her husband found out about it and he got a spike, placed it in the center of her forehead and hammered it home. 200 years later, they found a body walled up and the skull was cleaved in two. 
This castle contains very bloody images, so awful it defies the imagination. It's inconceivable that human beings could have done these things. Many have felt the presence of an inhumane torturer throughout the castle. Dracula. Dracula was here more than once. He did horrible things in this castle, and in turn, horrible things were done to him. In 1462, Vlad the Impaler was imprisoned in Hunadora's detention tower. Vlad the Impaler, at the end of his life, was imprisoned by John Hunyadi's son inside Hunadora Castle. He couldn't uh, release his incredible psychopathic tendencies by murdering people. Um, what he did instead is that he would impale rats, uh, little stakes. Some say Dracula's depraved soul now roams freely in the castle. You can feel the cruelty here. It seeps into your soul. People that are sensitive feel this. They feel the pain inside the building, inside the walls. It's not pleasant. They can go if they, you know, if they get a kick out of it, but uh, I don't think most people do. The Menegal family is about to begin a journey into the depths of evil. I can't wait to do it. I'm, I want to leave now, so... You know, I just, I'm ready. I can't wait to see what happens. It's just, the anticipation is, is killing me. I totally had thoughts of backing out. I mean, just, oh my gosh, I don't want to do this. But now that it's getting closer, I'm so excited. I, I really want to go. I've jumped into things over my head before. <laughs> and I'm, I don't think I'm doing it this time, but you never know. You never know. Where's Chris at? I'm up here. Oh my God, I, I don't know where I am. Well, stay there. I'll be over. Coming up next. Families come to a place like this. You guys, it is huge. It's a tragedy. In every corridor beneath your feet, there are the bodies of the dead. There is genuine danger here. <laughs> You leave the comfort of home for an unknown destination. You know one thing. A terrifying evening awaits you after your arrival. But you have no idea how bad things can get. The Menegau family of Buffalo, New York, is on their way to one of the worst places imaginable. The land of Dracula, Transylvania. This is a place of supreme evil. A place where evil was doted upon. And yet we have families who seek to come to a place like this. And it's a tragedy. Are you packed? Yes. You ready to go? Yes. Excited? Yes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Get set. Do you get them bags, get them in the truck. And we are waiting for our flight to here. I'm going to somewhere in Romania, <laughs> and I don't know where. Man, this is the trip of a lifetime for all of us. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Transylvania, Romania, 4.30 p.m. Dora Castle, 8.30 p.m. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh. Oh man. There's a lot of room in that baby. I know. Down the staircase. I don't care about this trip anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> she owes me big time. I don't care about this trip anymore. <laughs> Hold off to the sides. Okay, you said take a minute, reflect on how much we're going okay. to kill Connie when we get home. You guys, it is huge! Jason said he's not brave anymore. Just, I'm not the bravest one. I'm not brave. <laughs> okay, it's right up there. Oh man, look at that baby. It's huge. You guys ready? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> this part. I'm just going to go in there. Look at those towers. That's a beauty. Wow. Up the steps to the left there, Jason. Ooh, I'm out of breath. <coughs> oh, yeah. All right, go on. This base, this thing's huge. Brother. I am shaking like a leaf. Oh, we're going man. in. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, we're going in. Let's go. It's locked, Steve. We're not allowed in there. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> this is the wildest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this, is this place is huge. I don't think I've ever seen anything so big in my life. Right. My name's Robson. I do not seek to know your names. I don't want to know anything about you. This is Hunadora Castle, Transylvania. Where the particularly vicious and violent feudal warlords were trained to kill. They came here to learn the art of war. They came here to learn how to torture, too. People were decapitated, people were mutilated, people were hanged, people were impaled, people were hung on almost every balcony in death. I ask you to treat this place with respect. I don't ask you to, I demand that you do, for good reason. Because there are people dead here. There are graves here. In almost every corridor beneath your feet, there are the bodies of the dead. Please, I need to look in your eyes. I don't understand how someone who is the elder and therefore the most responsible would want to bring people that they really love, really care for to a place like this. There is genuine danger here. You will see, they'll touch your skin, they'll breathe in your fingers, you'll feel them on your neck, you'll feel them almost passing through you sometimes. They're real and they're here. Here, you take things away with you that maybe you'd rather not. And I ask you to be very careful. This one, come with me, please. Would you look in my eyes, please? Mm, you don't believe, you're a skeptic. My only job here is to prepare you and make sure you don't come to any harm. Understand that, and by the end of the night, you will understand. <laughs> I don't care what you do, believe. I ask you to stay open, stay focused. Feel things. Don't imagine things. Don't imagine. This one, I look in my eyes. The question is not whether you will believe what you see, hear, and feel here. You will, absolutely. The question for you is, will you be able to cope with it? Rejoin your family. When you step beyond this point, you will change forever, because there will be no going back. You cannot help but change your places like this. It will change you as a family. Castle's yours.
The Menegals know they are in Transylvania. They have no idea they are alone in Dracula's castle. Coming up next... You will be blessed. And then you will be hooded and led to five areas of Bunadora. Oh my god, oh my god, I saw something in there. Midnight in Transylvania, and now members of the Menegal family of Buffalo, New York, are preparing to explore a castle still dominated, many believe, by the disturbed spirit of Vlad the Impaler, the 15th century warlord, better known as Dracula. Hunadora Castle, Midnight. Now let me give you one piece of advice. Do not dare take this experience lightly. The most infamous warlords of Transylvania passed through this hall and this castle. Some were imprisoned here, many were captured enemies who were horribly mutilated and put to death right here. Much of the building burned in 1854 and before reconstruction could begin, thousands of skeletons were found scattered throughout the castle. As recently as five years ago, renovations were still ongoing to build a castle museum to display the artifacts from Hunadora's rich history. But then, everything stopped. Construction workers saw something that terrified them so much, they fled, never to return. What those construction workers saw, what they encountered, is unknown. They complained of a terrible force that entered them as if they were possessed. Some said they were touched by evil. You may well encounter the same presence or dark energy, but the difference? You wanted to do this. You wanted to make contact. There's a ritual that's carried out in the small villages of Transylvania. A call to the spirits of the dead. A test to see if they will walk amongst us. We, the unfortunate, reach out to thee. O oh, walking flesh without any blood, great spirits lacking bone, we seek ye rise and be fed. Rise from earth, rise from earth, bring it alive, we give you life, we give you life, we mark heaven once more. Rise from earth, be on fire, we give you new life, we give you life, we mark heaven once more. Listen carefully. For your protection, you will be blessed before you enter the rooms of this castle. And then you will be hooded. And led to five areas of Bunadora.
coin placed in the chest that sits near you. This is called the Order of the Dragon. The construction workers at the castle had handled the medallion and placed it in this room on the day they fled. A double murder was committed in the bed near you. Many say that this is the saddest room. <laughs> the tower was once in an area where prisoners were led to be tortured and killed in the execution yard outside. The tower housed one very brutal Transylvanian warlord called Vlad Dracula who trained to be a war warrior at this castle may have taken great pleasure in observing tortures and mutilations. This dungeon is most infamous for the horrible treatment of a group of Turkish prisoners who were kept here. Within a few days, the prisoners were taken to the execution yard and beheaded. Some say they, that these dungeon walls had been stained by their anger. The medallion was believed to have been worn by Vlad the Impaler, the violent warlord prince better known as Dracula. <laughs> Many believe that those who hold this medallion are touched by Dracula's evil. Oh my god. Oh, this is creepy. This is creepy. This must be the bed. No. What is that noise? I'm in a room. It's pretty scary. There's an old yucky chair. A whole bunch of little windows up there. I can't see. Um, oh, what do I see? Chains and shackles and that little torture devices. I'm feeling things on my back. Okay, I'm walking through a corridor. This is really scary. <gasps> oh my God. Right now there's uh, things moving in here. I don't know what they are. I... Has anyone phoned Chris yet? Oh, this is creepy. It's just a small room. This is Vlad the Impaler's medal. I don't know where I'm at. Can anybody hear me? I'm kind of lost. I don't know where I'm at. This is really scary. Is anyone in the night's area, whatever it's called? I'm near that. Because I'm in front of the bonfire. Downsta downstairs? Oh yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Where are you? Jan, I'm right here. Up here, see? Okay, I'm in the oh, cool. okay. Um, I think you can go over there. You want me to come? Why don't you come up here? Because there's a couple rooms up here. Okay, hold on. Um, I don't know where I'm at. Can anybody hear me? Chris, Chris, this is Jason. I think we're kind of close to each other. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. And I'm coming down. I'm about to go down a passage. I. You, you guys won't believe what I have. Okay, um, just hurry up, Jason. John, John. Yeah, I'm right in this tower. There's some live things in here. It's like a raven. Chris, I can hear you. I see ya. You see it? Yeah. Just get over here. Cool. It's like I really... have Vlad the Impaler's medallion. Right now, oh my god. You can't believe this thing. This is the medallion that he wore. Oh, it's very creepy. Is this where you are? No. I was in a room where like two twins died. Oh, look at this. Can you see? I don't know if you guys can see. But, uh, cool tap. Oh, under that is, there's a picture of, uh, like a ruler or something. I wonder if it's, um, okay, I think what? we're coming up by the fine side. What's that? What's what? Look at that door. Go. I'm not going to that door. Area? I was in there. Oh, I swear right. to God, things were touching me. Can you believe this? But look at that. What is that? I saw something in there. 
I'm sorry, I'm really no, scared. <laughs> okay, you guys stay near me. This place is so creepy. I know, it's very creepy and I don't like it at all. What? My legs are shaking. So am I. This is really scaring me. I don't know what the heck that noise is. It sounds like a snake. Sorry, Jason. Wait, Jen, don't leave me. Where are you going? I'm going to see what this was. Oh, my God, what's that? What is it? It's like the leftovers of somebody. I'm just smashed on me. Yeah, wasn't Who was that? Dad, where are you? Where are you? There's like, a, there's like an old wheelbarrow. Oh my god, you guys, there's coffins in here. There's coffins in here. These are coffins. Okay. Guys, we gotta open this coffin. Okay. Yeah, it's enough for me. God, who is that? What happened, Johnny? We're over here, Chris! 